Today we're pulling the engine out of my twin turbo Chevelle. I tried to pull the oil pan without completely removing the engine, but I just made a complete mess and the 400 block has very little clearance in the pan because of the rotating assembly. So I decided to do what I do best and just pull it out. I'm glad I did because I found some seriously concerning problems with this auction car that I wouldn't have known about. For one, when pulling the radiator out, I found that there was a little wasp nest looking thing. It's really not that big of a deal, but the bolts holding the bell housing to the engine were all different lengths and one was missing. But even worse than that, I only had two bolts holding the torque converter to the flex plate. So now I can fix these Mickey Mouse things and make them right. Now that the engine's out of the car, I can examine it closer and it looks like it's been rebuilt. So I cleaned off the oil pan surface, I drilled the holes, put the new Bung AN fittings for the turbo oil return lines, and then I used a new one-piece gasket. Then Lenny dropped one of the pan gasket guides into the engine and it was super hard to fish out. Then I used a ton of this super sticky RTV to make sure it doesn't leak ever. And then of course, I torqued the oil pan back on. Now it's ready to go back in the car.